Hi and welcome to the fourth part of the Cocos 2D, learning Cocos 2D video and I'm your host Mamat Azam and this video what I'm going to demonstrate is uh, collision detection basically wherever you touch your finger on the iPhone and if something is moving it's going to detect if your the location of your finger actually collided with the movement of the sprite which in this case will be a bird if you have not checked out the previous tutorials I highly recommend that you do so uh, tutorial number one two and three okay so let's go ahead and uh, get started what I have actually done is I if I open this hello world layer dot edge file you can see that I have uh, declared a sprite called bird because we have a bird an actor in our game and then I have exposed that bird as a property as you can see over here if you go to the implementation file you can see that it's synthesized which means that I will have the getter and setter for that particular uh, instance of the bird okay so here we go let's actually get started with the bird uh, bird equal to uh, CC sprite and it will be sprite using a file the file the image file which contains our bird is called blue.png okay so I've uh, selected that also I want the bird so to move like you know random positions integer X is equal to arc for random this is a good function and it will create a random basically uh, between 0 and 320 okay so let's do that and arc for random and a 480 because this is the width of the iPhone in the portrait mode and now let's uh, go ahead and create the action move to action if you don't know how to create an action go and watch video number three move to okay and action with duration so I'm just gonna say 2.0 which is 2.0 seconds and CCP which means where should it move to it should move to the random position which is X and Y I also need a callback function uh, that whenever my animation is finished that callback function is fired and it will start the animation again so it will be like an infinite kind of like loop going on and most of the games are actually infinite loops okay ID um, so I'm just gonna say callback oops and what is the caller function so I'm just gonna say CC call func and it will be called on self and selector will be animation finished now we haven't declared the animation finished selector or the method yet so let's go ahead and do that this is an animation finished and this will be fired okay now let's go ahead and uh, create the self dot bird cc sequence uh, hold on a second it actually has to be self dot bird run action because we are trying to run an action and that action we can use cc sequence which can run multiple actions so we are going to just going to say okay move to action and then call back okay and finally we will add the bird sprite to our layer self dot bird all right let's go ahead and inside the animation finish function what we are going to do is we're going to say okay uh, callback fired so that we know that this function animation underscore finish is actually being fired whenever the animation is finished let's go ahead and run the application and uh, callback fired you can actually see over here actually you cannot see let me show you huh how should I show you all right I will try to show you here we go here we go so 
call back fired is actually being fired. It, it is actually being triggered, okay? So what we need to do is we need to start the animation again. You can make a separate function for it if you like. What I'm going to do is kind of bad. Uh, just going to copy paste code. Okay. So what I do is I get the random again I get the random thing okay and uh, I created the move to function callback and I basically assign the run action again okay let's see what it what happens now if you run this so now you can see that the bird is actually moving randomly in a different direction and this is kind of like an infinite recursive loop that is allowing the bird to move in so much different directions okay now what I want to do is when I click on the bird it should kind of you know it should detect that the bird is clicked so let's do that we're going to do that in our CC touches begin function Actually, you can see it over here okay basically whenever you touch the screen this function is being fired and you get the location or the, which are like two points okay uh, one thing you need to do is to get the touch enabled first so is touch enabled equal to yes if you don't add this line then your touch is not enabled and even though you are banging your fingers on the, on the iPhone screen or the iPad screen it will not work for collision detection there are many multiple I mean there are multiple ways of actually doing collision detection I like to go the uh, you know old school route of the Pythagoras theorem which actually says that the hypotenuse is equal to the perpendicular square uh, plus the base square under root the whole thing under root right so we're going to use that you can also use uh, the rectangle intersect method which I'll explain maybe in in the future tutorial so let's say distance equal to power okay um, so we need now the values over here I can say self dot bird dot position dot X minus location dot X okay square and same thing should go for the the y coordinate bird dot position dot y minus location dot y okay and then I can say over here distance because I need to do a square root so I can say a distance and if the distance is less than equal to this is over over here you can actually kind of say the number that how accurate you want to be or want to be I'm going to say 25 it might be wrong but we'll see okay so if it is less than equal to this what I want to do is run kind of like a weird action so I'm just going to say self dot bird run action and this is CC rotate and uh, I'm just going to say it's going to take 2.0 seconds to rotate 360 degrees all right let's run this so now it should like whenever I click as you can see whenever I click the bird it start rotating F feeling dizzy huh? so that's pretty much it so you've created kind of like a game where when the user clicks on the bird it detects that the bird is actually clicked okay and it rotates pretty cool right that's pretty much it hope you like this video and stay tuned for many many more thank you very much